All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron Michael Eschenberg here, honest and bringing you some honest astrology, your daily horoscope for the 1st of August, 2019. We just had this beautiful new moon in Leo, right? The new moon in Leo is re-sparking the faith in ourselves, the courage that we have, our own leadership roles, right? It's igniting the fire, right? And we had a beautiful trine to Chiron in Aries, which is the spark of the match, saying, hey, you can do this, friend. You are this strong enough, you know, seed that was planted that can break through the ground and break through that concrete and grow into this beautiful sequoia, right? This giant tree that's going to, you know, produce shade for all the others. You know what I mean? Like, this is great, like, creation energy, and we're, we're going to spark our way through. We're going to spark and create that fire. And the sun and the moon in the sign of Leo. Venus in the sign of Leo. Mars in the sign of Leo. We've got all of our friends. The sun and three of his closest friends are hanging out with him. The only one that's not is Mercury back there in, in uh, Cancer, which just just finished the retrograde cycle. It's stationed direct today. And by midnight tonight, so technically... On the second, at midnight, Mercury goes direct, okay? So it means it's moving forward again. So today, it just kind of looks like it's like moving at the same pace as Earth, so it doesn't look like it's moving at all, uh, left or right. It's not retrograde. It's not forward, you know, just kind of stuck, stuck energy, all right? So these are the two big aspects going on today. One, we spark the match, okay? Spark the match to create the fire that Leo energy gets to create and sustain that fire. Okay, so the next month ahead of us, the next month ahead of us is sustaining that fire because Mars is still leading the way in the zodiac. Mars is still pulling everybody with it and saying, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to figure it out. I only see this, you know, 200 feet of lights in front of me and I'm driving through the desert, but we're going to get there. We're going to figure out where we're going. And once we do this beautiful sunrise and then, oh my God, we're in paradise, right? That happens on September 1st when the sun actually starts to meet up with Mars. That's when the conjunction happens. So we're still this next month ahead is still, you know, we're still slightly have the blinders on, but we're producing our own light, which is the most important thing here. We're producing our own light. And it's important to know right now that the healing aspect that's going on with this new moon and re-sparking this surge of fire and passion and drive in our own, like, playfulness. And it's just like, oh my God, life is so serious. So serious. You know, and like when we get into Leo, it's like, lighten up you know it's like get out there go play go have the water balloon fight go you know go to the beach go enjoy yourself enjoy this time in the physical world enjoy this time in this physical body you know while you're physically able to go do these things if you can physically run down the beach right now with a kite why not you know it's like just enjoy this life enjoy this reality Okay. Now, aside from that, one, getting the spark here to enjoy this life, to enjoy this reality. Like we talked about the other day, have you ever seen an imperfect cloud? No, they don't. It doesn't happen. You don't see imperfect clouds. You know, but we have this, you know, beauty and symmetry kind of thing going on that uh, society standards that, that we, we, we're so judgmental, you know, we're so judgmental of others and ourselves. God, we're so hard on ourselves, you know, and this energy right now is just like lighten up, Francis, you know, uh, get out of your head and get back in your booty. Go play. That's, that's what this is saying. Go dance. And <laughs> Terrible reference, but whatever. It's fun. You get it. So it's, it's important we're sparking ourselves, our own fire right now, because let me show you what's going on in the chart here today. This is some cool stuff. We've got, look at this, Venus at five degrees Leo, okay? This is our passion and our creative energy with this healing Chiron, okay? Healing Chiron, like child, we need to heal this parts of ourselves that we're, you know, that we think are we're imperfect, that we're not enough, that we're not good enough, or that, you know, this aspect of me is going to push my perfect partner away. So this Venus here in Leo is really sparking some new love coming in this month, okay? And you know, you know me, you've, if you've been following my channel, I am not, uh, you know, this is your daily love reading, you know? I, I, like, I used to watch some of those every now and then, and it's always like, you know, the lady with the accent, and welcome to your daily love reading, you know? And it's like, oh, today you're going to, this magical person is going to just show up into your life, it's going to be beautiful, and it's just like, uh, 
<laughs> you know, I don't know, I, I kind of find those so generic and vague, but they're, they're inspirational and give hope nonetheless. Um, but this is really like, okay, there's a big picture going on here. This involves everybody. You know, this involves everyone. And it's just like, once we first healed the part of ourselves, you know, it's just like, if we're not in the right, we, we can be in a place where like, I really want, you know, the relationship of my dreams. But at the same time, we're in such a place of healing that if that person were to walk up and say, hi, you know, I'm so-and-so, we wouldn't give them the opportunity. You know, like we, we just wouldn't be there for them. We wouldn't give them the chance. We wouldn't see it because we're, you know, we still have our blinders on. So the new moon helped us take the blinders off. Okay. And on the first here, it's like, oh, oh, there is love. There is hope. There is love in the world. There is, there is excitement. There is new things out there that I do not know. There are things to go do that are not so serious and taxing and heavy and weighting down. It's just like, this water energy is kind of over, right? And now that Mercury is in, is in Cancer and starting to move forward, what this means is we're no longer pulling down right? We're no longer holding back and holding within these thoughts that we want to communicate for fear, right? If I reach out, oh my God, I, you know, I, uh, if I reach out to this person that I, that I think is cool or attractive or whatever it is, and they don't like me the same, it could ruin our friendship. It could ruin whatever we have, you know? And it's just like, well, uh, shit or get off the pot, you know? <laughs> it's, you're either going to say something and, 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 and see if, you know, you're either going to plant the seed and watch it bloom or you're going to plant the seed and, and maybe it doesn't bloom, but that's okay. Like the, the point is being authentic and being real and being true to yourself. So it's like following those urges, following those instincts right now. And what does that mean if we're in a relationship? It means it's going to deepen. It means our communication is going to open up. It means, it means we're going to be able to sit there with our partners and just be honest, you know, which is frightening for some people. And it's just like, we all need to work on things. You know, we, we're all a work in progress. We're perfectly imperfect, you know, imperfect. We're perfect yet ever expanding. I always, I've always loved that. That's Osho. We're perfect yet ever expanding in a perfect yet ever expanding world in a perfect yet ever expanding universe. Because it's like, if you don't know, you know, if it's just like, well, one plus two is four. Wrong, you failed the math quiz. It's like, okay, well, now I learned. Now I learned that one plus two is three, you know, and two plus two is four. So it's just like, was I, I was, that was a part of my learning process to fail in this or that failing was, was the learning. And then the learning is education and an education leads to, you know, leading a better life. So anyway, it's like, we're, 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 we're always expanding. We're always expanding. And this is the year of expansion, right? So we're expanding ourselves, expanding our hearts, expanding our communication, which is so key because we, we've been, we've been held back for so long or like, you know, this tit for tat kind of a thing and very conditional and like pointing our finger and you are the toxic person and you are this, but it's like, look, we've created that toxic, you know, relationship. We're always a perfect, 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 harmonious match to whoever we're inviting into our lives, which can be very you know, daunting and, 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 and like, we want to push that idea away sometimes, but when we break it down, you know, the antenna is only going to dial into the station that you dialed into, you know? So if it's 97.9, you're going to hear 97.9. If it's 104.3, the oldies, that's the station you're going to hear. So however we dial our antenna, that's who we get that perfect vibrational match to, right? So it's like, we're no longer blaming. We're no longer pointing our finger and criticizing, you know, it's, well, my mom didn't teach me that one and two was three instead of four, or it was my dad, or well, my teacher didn't explain this and didn't give me the attention that I needed to make sure that I was succeeding, you know? It's like, bring it back to self, you know? This is Chiron in Aries. This is about self. This is Venus and, and Mars and the sun and the moon in Leo right now. This is my own self-expression. This is me saying, like, look, if I don't know it, I'm going to learn it. If I, if I, you know, never pay, you know, you know, never pay somebody to do a job that you can do yourself or learn to do yourself, right? So it's just like, you know, putting our stirrup sign and being like, I got this world, you know, I got this. I know who I am right now and I'm going to be open. I'm going to be open. I'm not going to be closed off anymore. I'm going to be open to communicating. I'm going to be open to love. I'm going to be open to giving. I'm going to be open to, you know, to doing this dance. So this is this really, really, really exciting energy. It's very healing energy. It's very passionate. It's very fun. It's very loving. It's very lovable energy. And it's a beautiful way to start out the month of August. Because again, 
all the way until the 1st of September, Mars is leading the way. And then on the 1st, the sun takes over. So we're still in this forging our tools, right? The fire is forging our tools. And then when it comes to Virgo, it's perfection. So that's around, you know, August 23rd, something like that, August 22nd, 23rd. You know, we're going to be perfecting this. So within this next, you know, 20 days, we're really creating our tools. We're really forging our tools. So it's really important to do that and to mingle in the meantime because, you know, our, our interactions with others, that playfulness leads to the work breakthroughs that we have. It leads to all of the other things. It's so important to, to balance, you know, the work, the staying at home, and the going out and playing. And with all of this energy in Leo, it's, it's really pushing us to, like, enjoy the summer. You only have a few, <laughs> you only have a few more weeks before that teeter-totters. It's like, if you haven't been to the beach yet, <laughs> get out there. Uh, so that's your day. That's our day. And that's leading up in this whole, you know, the next 20 days ahead of us here is very playful, fun, light energy. Stick with me, you know, stick around for the dailies. Obviously there's a lot going on. Moon's going to move into Virgo tomorrow. So this playful energy kind of tightens up into saying, let's focus on, all right, what are we going to work on here? So we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. So I hope you had an awesome new moon, and I hope you have a very uh, exciting, passionate, driven 1st of August. Love's out there. Love's out there. Be open to receiving it, all right? We'll see you tomorrow.